The bubble table element was released only a few days ago and it's already made building UI interfaces like this so quick and easy. In this bubble tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to sort a column based on a, you know, the little arrows that you get in the column header. But before I launch into that, did you know that we've got over 100, over 150, in fact, Bob Tutorial videos available now, many of which are member exclusives and can only be found at planetnocode.com. But let's go and add this icon in. So in my cell here, I'm going to add in an icon. And say arrow. Uh, no, I think up. I know exactly what I'm looking for. There we go. It's called sort. So looking for the sort icon. Uh, just going to get rid of the roundness here. There's no border on it. Oh, I'm going to make that a bit bigger too. Uh, just for demo purposes, make it there we go that big. So I want to be able to sort in alphabetical order by first name when this button is clicked. Uh, so I'm going to use a custom state to do this. Uh, so I'm adding a custom state to my page. Custom states can be added to any elements on the page and they're a way of temporarily storing data. If the user refreshes the page, custom states are lost. So it's not saving to the database, but it is a little bit quicker and it's useful for temporarily storing data. We click add a new custom state and I'm going to call this column index and I'm going to make it a number. And so when this button is clicked, so I add a workflow, when it's clicked the icon, I'm going to set state of my page, find my column index state, and then you can see that I get current uh, oh no, okay, so Bubble are actively developing um, the table element. Like I say, it's it's fresh, it's new. Uh, this column, now I can get the table. Uh, okay, I was hoping to be able to get this columns index. It looks like I can't. So I'm, th there's not a, not a dynamic way of doing this anyway, so I am just going to put in one. And that then means that if I go onto my table, we can see at the moment, I don't have a sort by, so it's gonna sort them, I think, by date created, uh, whatever the default is. Um, but I can go on to conditional, and let me build it from scratch for you here, and say when uh, my custom state column index is one, I'm going to update the data source. So what I put in here is gonna overwrite what's written in here. Uh, so I'm going to say, uh, do a search for contacts, and then this time first name sort by descending. That's useful if you're using dates and you want dates to appear backwards, but with alphabetical order, I don't want it descending, I want it ascending. Uh, and then click uh, close, and then I want to show a little bit of visual feedback here. So when a uh, table uh, column index is one, I'm going to change the icon to that one. Let's preview that. So you can see that these are out of alphabetical order. Uh, Wanda should obviously be coming at the bottom and I'm going to click on here and you can see it changes the column and changes the rows so that they are now sorted by in alphabetical order. So that's how you do it. That is how you can sort by, uh, you, you, you can sort your table elements, columns by alphabetical order.